Mahita. Welcome to Mahita Smart Education. Today in this video, we are going to learn about career opportunities after B.Tech in Electronics and Communication Engineering. We all know that Electronics and Communication Engineering involves researching, designing, developing and testing of electronic equipment used in various systems. So, ECE is one of the demanding and most popular course in B.Tech. So, let's start looking for the opportunities available after B.Tech in ECE. So, let's start. After B.Tech, students have two options, whether opting for a job or going for higher studies. If they opt for studies, then they have career opportunities like MBA and M.Tech. These are the two best career opportunities after B.Tech. They can opt for MBA and M.Tech. M.Tech, uh, there are various branches in M.Tech also, so they can choose whatever branch they like. And if they want to do a job, then they have three options. Whether going for a private job or going for a PSU or going for a private job. If they choose private job, then they have software engineer. They can become a software engineer in topmost MNCs like TCS, Infosys, Cognizant, IBM, Google, Amazon, YouTube and many more. So these are the topmost MNCs in the world. So they can opt for any of these MNCs and even they can do the join in PSUs then they have to write gate exams and there are various kinds of PSUs available in India like these PSUs are for Maharatnas and Navaratnas like B Bell, PGCIL and many more. PSUs are non-private uh, and non-government organizations like the in PSUs, government is having more than 50% of share in these companies. So, these jobs are treated as government jobs. And they have various opportunities like all the facilities they, they will get as a government officer. And uh, yes, there are various PSUs like ONGC and many more and if you want to join in a PSU then you have to write the gate exam and you have to cross the cutoff that each PSU uh, declared and even some PSUs uh, are having their own exams also okay let's move on to our next category government jobs under government jobs we can divide it into two categories core jobs or non core jobs core jobs what are core jobs Core jobs are the um, these jobs involve what we have studied in our B Tech, okay? And non-core jobs are having they are not related to our domain, and that means no technical knowledge is required for that, okay? So let's see what are the career opportunities in government field for the core. They are. If you want to serve for the nation, then army is not only the option available for us. We can uh, contribute in DRDO and ISRO, then, then also we can contribute for our nation. And yes, DRDO, ISRO and BSNL and many more options are there. Indian Engineering Service, IES is one of the best uh, career opportunity after BTEC in ECE. And uh, Indian Engineering Service is uh, like the UPSC. The UPSC will conduct the examination. It is almost, almost equal to the IAS, IPS, like that. And uh, yes, w uh, this is also one of the best option available for ECE engineer. And yes, if you are, are not interested in the subjects that you studied in BTEC, then, then also you have one option. That is non-core jobs. Non-core jobs like banking. You can opt for banking jobs like IBPSC and SBI and many more job notifications will be released every year. And you can have the positions like IBPSC PO, IBPSC clerk and IBPSC SO 
and many more options are there for you and even SBI PO, SBI SO, SBI clerk and many more options are there in banking field also and if you want to join in banking the syllabus is also like uh, we can manage like the aptitude, reasoning and English are the main subjects for banking gather okay next option is UPSC we all know that Union Public Service Commission this is one of the top most popular jobs in India right so if you write the UPSC exam then you can become a collector or even IPS officer IFS officer IRS officer and many more options are there and yes EPFO officer and many more options are there in UPSC cadre also and yes you can write SSC RRB and many more jobs are there for you also okay let's see job in private sector then each MNC is having their separate exams so TCS is conducting, conducting uh, their exam uh, annually once or sometimes twice also in Infosys, Cognizant, IBM, Google they are also having their separate examination patterns but for all the PSUs we have GATE is a wonderful option for us if you opt for GATE and you get more than uh, the cutoff marks then you will get a chance to place in any of these MNCs or sorry PSUs and yes even some uh, PSUs like uh, e ECIL is there ECIL, PGCIL uh, they have their separate exams also to recruit uh, candidates for the core exams even DRDO is having their separate exam and ISRO is having separate exam BSNL, IES and these exams are conducted yearly once okay and banking exams also there are various kinds of uh, notification will be released every year so you have to make sure that you have to check these uh, career op opportunities there are various options like uh, naukari.com and uh, freshers now so uh, be available in these career opportunities and know when will be the notification is on and apply for that and try to write so this is all about our today's video if you like this video please do like share and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos like this thank you thanks for watching and if you have any suggestions please do comment below thank you